Hello, good morning, student. The most welcome BBC Computer Online classes presented by the Mister. So, class four, chapter number Memory and Storage Devices. So, dear student, the first chapter explaining Memory and Storage Devices. So, first of all, data and information. So, what is the data? Data means data is a collection of characters, numbers, words. And any symbols that means uh, you can write anything on the papers anywhere so that means the data so just like uh, the name so marks etc and after that the information information is a group of data that the collectivities carry out the logical meaningful it means the information is a meaningful data so data only the collection of information and what is the information information is a meaningful data just like uh, the student timetables student report card etc so dear students clear yeah. after that memory what is the memory computer memory is a hardware of the computer that is stored in data and information it means where you store the data so i store the data in the memory so dear students uh, here are the two types of the memory primary memory and secondary memory so with the help of diagram i explain you <coughs> so primary memory so that is primary memory stored in the computer just like a read uh, random access memory and read only memory here the two type of the primary memory right and uh, secondary memory secondary memory is a hard disk compact disk digital blu ray cd pen drive it means these are extra parts of a outside of storage devices so that is the secondary memory so clear students the two type of the memory primary memory and secondary memory after that I am telling to you primary memory. So dear student, primary memory is also called the main memory or internal memory. Just like I am asking the question, which is the which one is a memory is internal memory. So you can say the answer, sir. Primary memory is a internal memory. It is the blue in the memory. Okay, it's, sorry, it is a built in the uh, memory. Primary memory are the two types. ROM, read on the memory and RAM. So one question also is generated here. So how many types of the primary memory? So here are the two types of primary memory. ROM and RAM. What is the ROM? So ROM, I explain you. ROM, read only memory. So what is the meaning of this? That contain the program and instructions that are the computer need to operate. As it is the indicate the data storage ROM. So ROM can only be read. So dear students, the most important point here. So ROM only, is, uh, what is the work of the ROM memory? So ROM memory always read the data. So they here the read the data, but not store. It cannot uh, change. So ROM is called a permanent memory and non-voluntary memory. So dear students, here the most important point, non-voluntary memory. So first question also generate, uh, which one is a non um, which one is a permanent and non-voluntary memory? So you can say the answer. ROM is a non-voluntary memory. Right? Yeah. There are the several type of ROM. So one by one I explain you. EROM. Programmable read-only memory. EPROM. Erasable programmable read-only memory. After that, EEPROM. That means electrical erasable programmable read-only memory. So dear students, ROM is a read the data only and you can say the non-voluntary memory and how many types there are the several types PROM, EPROM and EPPROM clear okay so next topic RAM random access memory so that is store the data temporary time ROM is a permanently data but here the temporary so that is the difference it can the computer is a switch off then all the data that deleted it means the loss so RAM is also called the temporary memory and voluntary memory clear so there is the voluntary memory which one is a RAM a non-voluntary ROM so that is the difference after that the secondary memory it means the secondary memory secondary memory is a device that is stored the data permanently and you can say the long time okay so just like you can say the CD, DVD, hard disk, pen drive, that is the secondary memory. And you can say the auxiliary memory. So auxiliary memory also called the secondary memory. Dear students, okay. So which one is auxiliary memory? Secondary memory. 
so it is store the large amount of data for the long time we are in secondary memory okay after that data storage unit so data storage unit it means uh, you store the data you count the data it means the measurement of the data how to measure just like in general life you say liter kilometer centimeter just like it you can say like so as it is we say that uh, here the data in the form of unit and one more things the binary system binary number system is made only the zero and then one so zero one number is called the binary number so measurement of data unit i explain you white white is a smallest unit one uh, one white is a 8 bit one kb is a two uh, one zero two four white one mb one zero two four kb one gb two zero two four one zero two four and one tb is equal to one zero two four so you can say that you can see that so every number are same one zero two four one zero two four one zero two four so that is the capacity of data capacity of information okay so uh, you can measure with the help of unit just like you will see uh, my computer capacity for RAM okay just like it after that storage device so I explain you the storage device so in 1922 the magnetic tap so this is generation gen year of time the storage device is named and uh, what the features to so invented by fridges plasmas in 1928 and 1930s the magnetic drum okay so magnetic is the magnet ink here and it uh, invented by gustaves to skirts in australia okay in 1950s the hard disk is generated so this is important point in which in which year the hard disk is generated in 1950s okay so which one is company the ibm in the 1956 okay after that in 1916 castles okay invented by the flips in 1963 1970s the floppy disk so floppy disk also stores the data so invented by the ibm okay engineers as light as allen so okay in 1980 the capacities or compact disk so cd short form is a cd the full form is a compact disk so invented is a 1916 by the James Rosley's in 1990s digital versatilities disc it means the DVDs invented and developed by Panasonic Philips so that is the company of Panasonic Philips Sony like Toshiba in 1995 and 2001 to 10 so pen drive and blue ray disc so that is the time period so early of 1980 by Muscles regions and blue radius is generated the associated in 2002s and today now the cloud storage device it means uh, like facebook uh, and google's you store the data in the clouds so that time is the storage cloud also so invented by jasper lickenders in 1960s so that is the histories of storage devices so you can only the sort only you can uh, read but not learn but you can read that is that to the point for the knowledge okay dear students thank you have a nice day take care